I played 100 hours of Echo and here's what I learned. Starting from when Echo first came out in 2016, I immediately fell in love playing him. Fast forward almost 6 years later into 2022, he's extremely underrated. I mean, how many times do you see Echo in ranked? But there's a reason why pros still use him to this day. I've racked up many hours playing him and giving you guys that information for free in just 10 minutes. I mean, at this point, I am kind of Echo, right? <sighs> what am I doing this? Starting off, we have his little Amazon delivery drones, aka Yokai's. They're fast, small, and kind of sound like my cousin's PS4 going off or left off. Normally, people will just toss their Yokai's on the floor and kind of forget about them. And half the time of their Yokai's are already destroyed before the even the last minute of the round. In the prep phase, I would get both of your Yokai's in their initial spots first in case you were to die early. I mean, who's spawn picking with Echo, right? Psh, should be none of you guys, right? As the round goes on, you should be on cams most of the time as you're checking your yokais and the default cams to call out to where they're pushing to the roamers. If you don't know where to put your cams, no matter the bomb site, just have them on opposite sides of the site to cover as much ground as possible. If you know where they're going to end or plant, you can even pocket a drone to use a late round. Use that big arm of yours to toss it up to a cabinet, to maybe in the ceiling, and you might find yourself a neat spot. For example, look at this round of Chala using an absolutely insane use of the yokai. Oh, the the yokai. There goes the nade on to achieved. The yokai oh. can move into position. All they need to do is get it into the right spot. Shepard is almost completing it. Knocked away. Two seconds to go. Oh, and the yokai can stop it. What a good bit of teamwork by TSM. The just don't forget to use it before you die. Now mid round, you want to keep the roamers updated on site if they're getting any walls open or what's going on in site so they can come help you quickly. Feel free to use one yokai for a plant denial and the other one for a roam. A good echo man knows how to use their drones around for free kills and info. Just don't be shy to even stun your enemies to really mess with them. It's a lot of fun to stun them periodically. Just keep in mind, you don't want to get them destroyed too quickly or else you're kind of being too aggressive with them. Now that we kind of know how to use the yokais properly, let's talk about the unique side that sets yokais apart from normal drones. The ability to jump to massive heights is super fun and get large eyes on a big room. If you ever find yourself in a big bomb site, use one drone to act as a back cam so that way you don't have to worry about enemies coming from that side. Just keep in mind though for Nox sneaking up on you because she can be cloaked to your cameras. A bonus tip uh, for Echo is that Dokubi calls actually don't affect you. Pretty cool, right? A neat trick that you can do with the jump effect is on skylights on certain maps, you can get them to some eyes on the roof for some free info. In the past year, Yokai, the Yokai's actually had a cool buff that it, it's about 10 seconds for the cams that they can be outside before they lose connection. This means you can use the yokais into outside of the building for about up to like eight to nine seconds and it's gonna come bring them back inside the building. This is really good for getting early info on the enemies without them even knowing. Now combine the yokai with other defender C4s and you might find yourself having a fun time. When you drive the yokais, just remember the attackers can hear the little PS4 fans on them, so be sure to tuck them in safe corners at times. When you're going to exit your drone, park them away from bulletproof gadgets in case any incoming explosives might catch your yokais for free. When it comes down to the plant and a single yokai stun can win you the round, just don't forget to use them before you die. You want to make sure during the mid round when you're getting no action in sight, since you're basically on uh, sight on cams the entire time, just be sure to position yourself in a safe spot in case of a rush. Periodically move, ar move around spots in case someone might drone out your location too. It's happened before and it really sucks. A big mistake I see a lot with Echo players do is being on cams way too long. Just remember, you're still a guy with a gun, and when your teammates die, have them be the one that sit on cams and give you the calls while you stay gun up. Remember that you are the backbone of the defense. So if you die early, we lose the potential of moving the yokais around for free information. But when you know that they aren't going for a plant and you find yourself in a 3v5, that's when you kind of need to play more aggressive. And that's the fun part of yokai too. Adjust your character close enough to the drones so that you can actually use them to get free kills. When an enemy gets close, shock them with a yokai and swing with your nuts out. It's my favorite part of Echo and you can get a lot of fun kills. The way I see it, you have to change your entire look on Echo when you play him. Almost like from a third person view when you're on your yokais. Imagine that you are the Gojo of the lobby. If you don't know what Gojo means, it's basically a very strong character from an anime called Jujutsu Kaisen. You have strong abilities to make round changing plays and that confidence can make Echo that much fun. The person who makes the other team play their game 
is a team that who will win the round. Let's talk about his utility in weapons now. He can either have impacts for rotates or a shield to hold off a certain area. Normally, you either want to use the shield for the smoke or the wamai, who's playing a power position, or you can use it for yourself passively in sight to bunker behind. Just keep in mind to not sit on drone behind it too long because people are kind of trying to nade it or destroy it quickly. Next up, we have a silence MP5 for your main loadout and also a 1.5 scope. Only OGs know the Echo ACOG, which was a legendary item on defense. He also has a shotgun. The shotgun is actually not that bad when you're playing those close quarter range. You can even make rotates for your team if you don't have the impacts. But even when you do use the shotgun, you can have the pocket bearing 9 to rely on for your range. The bearing 9 has insane recoil, but that thing just needs to be pointed in the direction you want someone dead, and most lucky you'll land a recoil headshot. But that's the beauty of Echo, and that he's a support player that can frag out. During these 100 hours of playing Echo, this is the most important key you should all know. Now this is for me personally what I developed uh, that helped me become a really good Echo player, and this is only for some rounds. But I tried it, and it may sound cringe, but it actually helped me a bit. We all played Five Nights at Freddy's when we were growing up, right? Now imagine that same mindset for Echo. The beginning of the round, you're setting up the defense and finding your little security camp spot on site. Now you're trying to stay alive until the end of the night, aka you're trying to survive the round. You're flipping cams to get as much information to benefit your team, but you also got to get close, uh, close off the door from the animatronics, aka like the knocks, crouching ash mains or even people opening walls to you to force you to reposition. And if you die early in the round, you lose the game. Keeping this weird mindset makes Echo a hundred times more fun, and I want you guys to try it too. If this video did help you guys, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, because we are almost on the road to 100,000 soon. And if you don't subscribe, Freddy the Fazbear will hunt you in your sleep. I'm just kidding. Let me know what operator I should do uh, a video next, and have a good rest of your day or night. I'm defeated, I'm defeated, I'm defeated. Kill him, kill him. Nice job. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Tommy, let's go, bro. Let's go, Tommy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go, Tommy. Let's go, Tommy. Let's go. Nice job, Tommy. Yo, that res was pog, bro. That res was so pog. Nice job, Tommy. Good job. Good job. Good job. 1. Yeah, he's planting, he's planting. I saw that, planting, planting, he's planting. No, 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 wait, I think he jumped out, I think he jumped out. Stay, 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 stay. He's pushing, he's crouch, 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 crouch. Nice job, let's go, bro. Woo.